Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some high chews. I have the high soft uh -huh. from the makers of high chew, and this is the salted caramel. And I have the fruit combos. These uh, look good. I had more to say than he thought I yeah, had. I thought say. you were just gonna say flavor. <laughs> These were $2.49 each at General Gems International Market, and they did have huge bags of these. Yeah, these we found we, we were yeah. glad we found the smaller ones. Yeah, so let me read this to you because I think it's interesting. It says, after first tasting candy in the U.S., this man, his name, I don't want to butcher it, <laughs> brought Western Confectionery home to Japan. In 1969, High Soft was launched as a milk caramel product that is still sold today. Then in 1975, applying the experience and technology of caramel production, Hai Chu debuted. This new candy offered a one-of-a-kind, unique, chewy texture. With the success of both Hai Chu and Hai Soft products, in 2008, a salted caramel was created and loved by tourists visiting Japan. This delectable, soft, and chewy caramel is balanced with salt, to create an indulgent and sophisticated flavor that'll have you hooked from the first bite. So my question is, if it's been around since 2008, why, just why does it, it say now? It's new over here. Okay. It took us long enough. It 2008, a it's a long <laughs> time ago. Um, two and a half servings per container, seven pieces, 32 grams, is 130 calories. You can eat the entire bag for 360 calories. Not bad, actually. Okay. I love hot chews. The, so I'm interested to know what these are going to be like. Uh, but I love the texture of hot chews because they're really nice. They're not as sticky and tough as like a traditional like taffy or whatever. You get your open fast. Mm -hmm. They always look like taffy though. Mm -hmm. That one's a little tougher. It's very deaf. No, it's not sticky though. I like the flavor. It's one of those kind of um, I know what you're gonna milkier um, caramels. I could literally write down it, on a piece of paper what I'm going to say you to see like. if he says that. And he says that. I just always have to one up or say it first. I'm just still chewing. I am too. <laughs> I don't mind shop talking with my mouthful. I like those though. Those are really nice. This is, um, it, yes, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. It mentioned the salt, but honestly, yeah. I don't get a lot of the salt. It doesn't stand out at least. It does not stand out, no. but I think it's delicious. Mm -hmm. And I think if this is one of those things you can lay in your mouth and it's going to last you a long time. We yeah. try to chew it up quickly because we're on camera. Yeah, especially if it lays in your tongue and kind of warms up a little bit, it'll soften up. Yes, and I think it, it's going to last a while. But it does have, it kind of reminds me, um, we had this candy, these caramels from Mexico. And they use, is it goat milk? Something like that. And it doesn't taste like that, no. but it tastes milky like that. Yeah. That type of kind of milky, you, it's a milkier caramel than just our incredibly sweet caramel. Th this kind of reminds me of, uh, is it sweet condensed milk that's really thick? Or is it yes. Milk? Okay. Sweet, sweet condensed, condensed milk is a really thick uh, milk um, that you get in the cans and the baking aisle. That's what that kind of reminds me of that flavor of a little bit. Yeah. That would be good movie food. Yes. That would be good to take in a movie theater. Yeah. Except the little packages are hard to get open. But beyond that, they're really, uh, they're really nice uh, snack. Okay, okay we got we, a lot of this. We got one, two, three, four, five of the mango passion fruit. Oh, well, that's good. These are pina claws. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of the coconut pineapple. Yeah, pineapple I'd rather have that pina claw. Yeah, yeah, me too. Okay. <laughs> Which one you try first then? Let's try the mango. Mango passion fruit. It's they're calling it tropical smoothie is the name of it, but it's a combination of mango and passion yeah, fruit. Yeah, it's got two, it's supposed to have two flavors in one. Okay, and these are six pieces or 130 calories, 350 for the entire package. 
Double layer of flavor releases flavor as you chew. That. Yeah. <laughs> These you really want to lay on your tongue and let warm up a little bit. Mm -hmm. These are a little tougher than I remember them being. Mm -hmm. It does say on the package, flavor ratio may vary. In the but, bag. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're letting you know there's not going to be an equal number. Right. They are made in China under the license from Japan. Yeah, isn't that funny? They're actually made in China. Yeah. <coughs> actually, I like that flavor though. Mm -hmm. Normally, I mean, mango is one of those like we can take it or leave it kind of flavors. Yeah, but passion fruit is normally. Mash, passion fruit we normally don't like because it tastes like grapefruit. Exactly. So, and it does have a little bit of yeah, that. Yeah, it does have a little bit of grapefruit flavor. But it has enough of that sweet mango to make it to where it's not funky. So this one's called Pina Colada, and it is coconut and You can really see the center mm. in that one. I, when I, I cut it with scissors that time, so. No colors from synthetic sources, gluten-free. That's more the texture I'm used to. Made with concentrated fruit juice and puree. Mmm. Almost like a... Love that. It's going to sound worse. It's almost like plasticky, rubbery kind of texture, but in a good way. <laughs> it's not rubbery as like a gummy, like Harbo or like really like a Lego tire rubber. Um, these aren't like that. This is more like a Barbie shoe. <laughs> like a latex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> rubber words, latex. Yeah. Um, I not that I've chewed I on any latex No, no. I love that flavor. Mm -hmm. I think that is delicious. They did um, a really good balance of the coconut and the pineapple. I could buy a whole bag of just, just the pina, pina colada. colada. Yeah. yeah, I really do like that. I, see, I really like these. Um, I do too. So, how many of those do you get for the calories? Oh, for the calories. Yeah, it's seven for 130. Seven for 130. And this says six for 130. Hmm. So, you get more of those. These are 31 grams. 32. So, basically the same. Well, then I guess I'm going to pick the caramel then. I would just buy them. <clears> because them you get more pieces. I know. I could literally, any of the high chew stuff though is yes. good. I, yes, we haven't, absolutely. I, I can't remember right off the top of my head any high chews that we were that like, we oh, I would not like that. Exactly. So, and it, the thing is, is uh, as American children, uh, back in the 80s when Kevin and I were running around, you didn't do that. I've never heard of these. No, they weren't over here. No, they, they it wasn't a thing. We got Starburst and stuff like Life that. Uh, so, <coughs> we... Squares. Uh, now layers. The, now layers. That was the big thing. We were not in... We'd never tried high chew before until we started this YouTube mm -hmm. channel. So, even as adults for years, we never had high chew. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this channel has introduced us to so many things that kids today are probably like, well, that's just common as it can be. And for us, it still is like, oh, we're finding new flavors yeah. to enjoy. Yeah. So, and they were, they're excellent. And we may have tried these flavors before, and it's okay, because we haven't had them in a while, so I wouldn't remember if we did way back. Uh, but I, I would totally buy this bag again, mm -hmm. and especially if I look through the window and I could see, see yellow, yellow. more yellow <laughs> than orange, because I do like the orange, yeah, I but I like the yellow better. Yeah, I did like I did like the mango one. And so. those... And the caramel ones, you can't go wrong. And I love it that they're individually wrapped. So like I said, Jungle Gems had a bag probably this big. It was huge. Um, it would take you a long time to go through all it those. It kind of, the, this, uh, the caramel kind of has, no, I don't want to say that. I was going to say it kind of has the texture of a, a sugar daddy, but it's not that hard. It's, it's not like that sugar hard. bags are, are really tough. These aren't that hard. I'm wondering, do they come out with bags at Halloween to give out? Mm -hmm. Because these would be... I mean, each individual one of these would be a good size. That's what I'm saying. This would be a great size to give out for Halloween, but I don't remember a bigger bag. if down the Halloween aisle, do you see big bags of high chew? Because if they don't do that, they're crazy for not doing that because that would be smart. Yeah, so be really good. let us know if you've ever seen those at Halloween or not. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.